Hey guys, welcome to this interesting session on Salesforce Career Path. But before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. We will start a session by understanding what exactly is Salesforce. Then we'll talk about the different career path associated with it and then briefly understand about the prominent Salesforce job roles, which are the Salesforce administrator, Salesforce developer and the Salesforce consultant. Next, we'll also discuss about the rest of the job roles. So this was the agenda for today's session. And guys, if you like our video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss an update from the Edureka channel. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification in Salesforce, check out the link given in the description box below. Now, moving on to your first topic, what exactly is Salesforce? Well, Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides customer relationship management service. Now, customer relationship management or CRM means a strategy which businesses use to administer their interaction with their customers. CRM system allows organization to manage the customer relationship and their interaction through a single tool, which provides a better customer experience and also improves business outcomes. Now, initially, Salesforce started as a software as a service CRM company, but now it provides various software solutions and also a platform for users and developers to develop and distribute custom software. Salesforce offers a variety of products for companies such as the Salesforce Sales Cloud, the Marketing Cloud, the Service Cloud, the Community Cloud, the analytic cloud, app cloud, and a few more cloud services. Each of the service has its own functionalities and can be used by different teams in the company. Like the sales team can use the sales cloud, the support team can use the service cloud and so on. Now I guess you have some idea about Salesforce. Now let us move on to main topic for today and see what are the different career paths in Salesforce. Now before we talk about the different careers in Salesforce, let me first explain the different types of certification in Salesforce, which will help you get a job you like. Now, Salesforce certification is highly important and beneficiary if you're starting your career in Salesforce. Preparing for the certification will help you improve your knowledge and can also be helpful during your job interviews as company needs certified people. This is because clients generally prefer to work with companies whose employees are certified as it gives them assurance with regard to quality. So let us talk about the certification in Salesforce and the career opportunity associated to it. First, we have the Salesforce admin certifications, which would include Salesforce admin certification, Salesforce Advanced Admin Certification, CPQ Specialist, and Salesforce Platform App Builder Certification. All the certification will provide you with the necessary validation to become a Salesforce Admin. However, it is not necessary to take all four certification. Just practice and get one or two certification, which will be very helpful in getting a job. Also, certification are not compulsory, but having a certification has many advantage because it acts as a proof that you know Salesforce. Next, we have the Salesforce Developer Certifications which would include Salesforce JavaScript Developer Certification, B2C Commerce Developer, Salesforce Platform Developer 1 and 2 Certification. All the certification will help you become a Salesforce Developer. Next, we have the Salesforce Architect Certification. In Salesforce, there are 10 Architect Certification. Some of the prominent one are Application Architect, System Architect and Technical Architect. To view all the certification, just go to the Salesforce Certification official website. So let me just show you how you can go to the Salesforce certification official website. Just search for Salesforce certification and just click on this PDF certification guide Salesforce. So in this PDF, you can find all the certification and the details about them. So now let us go back to our next job role. Next, we have the Salesforce consultant certification. There are seven consultant certification, which would include consulting for different services in Salesforce, such as the sales cloud consultant, service, education, community cloud consultant, and so on. All the certification will provide you with the necessary validation to become a Salesforce consultant. There are five other career paths in Salesforce, which are the Salesforce designer, a career in the Salesforce sales cloud, a career in Salesforce marketing cloud, and a career in Salesforce service cloud. And we also have business analyst. So there are nine career paths in Salesforce. We will talk about them one by one. So first, let us talk about some of the prominent job roles in Salesforce which are the Salesforce Admin, Salesforce Developer, and the Salesforce Consultant. Next, we'll talk about the rest of the career path. So let us start with the Salesforce Admin. A Salesforce Administrator works with stakeholders to define requirements and to customize the Salesforce platform. To explain this in simple terms, it means they help users or clients to make the best use of Salesforce and their services. A Salesforce Admin best understands how to make the Salesforce platform work for the company's unique needs. Salesforce Admins are the trusted advisors on all the things on Salesforce. So now let us see what are the skills required to become a Salesforce administrator. First is the Salesforce skill, and this would include user and data management, security, and actionable reporting. 
The next skills are business analytics skills. A Salesforce admin should have the ability to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of a business operation and a large part of this centers around process analysis and documentation. So this is why business analytics is one of the important skills to become a Salesforce admin. The next skill is leadership skill. Being a Salesforce admin puts you in a very unique position within a company. Having both business and technical skills provide you with the credibility to be an innovative leader to a company. It is also important for stakeholder engagement and to have good leadership skills. You must have good communication skills. The next skill is technical skill. These skills are important for Salesforce admin as they will help you work more efficiently within your organization, especially when navigating a complex task or project. As a Salesforce admin, you'll want to develop expertise in areas such as database management, security, and compliance. You'll also want to have basic understanding of APIs. By having well rounded technical knowledge, you'll be able to speak to users and executives more confidently using your specialized expertise. The next skill is project management skill. The main skill associated with project management are leadership, task management, scheduling your task, quality management, planning, and execution. And finally, the last skill is industry skill. Having a firm understanding of the businesses and industry in which your companies operate is very important for a Salesforce administrator because the specific type of activities and business processes that you implement will be influenced by this. Next, let us talk about the job opportunities for a Salesforce admin. According to Glassdoor, there are more than 800 job openings for a Salesforce admin in India, with Bangalore having the highest of 254 job openings. In the US, there are more than 5,000 job openings for a Salesforce admin. Now, this was only according to one website. There can be many more job openings around you. Next, talking about the salaries for a Salesforce admin, according to Glassdoor, the average salary for a Salesforce admin in India is 5,17,000. And the average salary for a Salesforce admin in the United States is $93,960 per annum. So this was about the salary, the skills required, and the job trends for a Salesforce admin. Now let us move on to the next job role, which is a Salesforce developer. Now a Salesforce developer is an individual who programs software or application solutions on the Salesforce platform. They analyze companies' processes, develop CRM workflows, and build custom solutions for specific business needs. They work collaboratively with the other members of the development team to create custom, scalable processes for the company. Next, talking about some of the skills required to become a Salesforce developer are the first skill is analytic skills. A Salesforce developer needs to have an analytic mindset to understand a client's business problems or needs and to design and produce a solution according to their requirements. The next skill is communication skill. Now, as a Salesforce developer, you'll be expected to communicate complex information to people who might not have much computer knowledge and also have to answer the question while giving clear instructions. The next skill required to become a Salesforce developer is development skill. We should have knowledge about few of the Salesforce technologies like Visual Force, Apex programming language, Lightning component framework, and also have knowledge of at least one high level programming language. The next skill is proper time management. Salesforce developer has to follow the business timelines and schedules and complete the assigned work by the given deadlines. And finally, the last skill to become a Salesforce developer is problem solving abilities. Salesforce developers should be able to identify and troubleshoot issues and faults as they arise. They should also be able to solve end user doubt and queries. So these are some of the skills required to become a Salesforce developer. Now let us talk about the salary and market trend for a Salesforce developer. According to Grassdoor, there are more than 1,500 job openings for a Salesforce developer in India, with Bangalore having the highest of 431 job openings. In the US, there are more than 4,000 job openings for a Salesforce developer. And the average salary for a Salesforce developer in India is 4,88,000 and a senior Salesforce developer can earn up to 12 lakhs per annum. The average salary for a Salesforce developer in the United States is $99,300 per annum. So this was about Salesforce developer job role. So now let us move on to Salesforce consultant job role. A Salesforce consultant is responsible for tackling complex business challenges and solving them through business improvements. They deliver innovative solutions using Salesforce to ensure that the customers are successful. Now talking about the skills required to become a Salesforce consultant are the first skill is problem solving skill and next we have communication skill. The third skill is Salesforce skill which means they should have complete knowledge of the Salesforce platform which would include security, Apex programming language, automation and many more. The next skill is managing relationship because they'll have to regularly communicate with the clients, stakeholders and the team members. And the next skill to become a Salesforce consultant is business empathy which basically means understanding the business from the client's perspective. So these were some of the skills required to become a Salesforce consultant. Now let us talk about the salaries and the job openings for a Salesforce consultant. 
And again, according to Glassdoor, there are more than 650 job openings for a Salesforce consultant in India. And in the United States, there are more than 7,750 job openings for a Salesforce consultant. Talking about the salary, the average salary for a Salesforce consultant in India is 9 lakhs. And the average salary for a Salesforce consultant in the United States is $98,000 per annum. So this was about the prominent job roles in Salesforce. Now let us talk about the other job roles in Salesforce. Fourth, we have the Salesforce designer. A Salesforce designer solves complex problems and designs ethical, unbiased and sustainable solutions on the Salesforce platform that serve both businesses and communities. Next, we have career in the Salesforce sales cloud. Now this career path mainly focuses on the sales cloud. So the individual who want to start a careers in sales and in the Salesforce sales cloud should have complete understanding of the Salesforce sales cloud and should know how to use it for different applications. Next, we have Salesforce Marketing Cloud Career. This career path focuses on marketing cloud. A candidate applying for a job in this field must have expertise in infrastructure architecture, client relationship, presentation, team management, and thorough marketing and leadership skills. The next career path is a service cloud career. Now, this career path mainly focuses on the service cloud and the customers. So the individual wanting to start a careers in the service cloud should have complete understanding of the service cloud and should know how to use it for different type of use cases. And finally, we have business analysts in Salesforce. A business analyst in Salesforce identify key insights and maps a business strategy. They should also solve data related problem and make actionable recommendations. So these were the different career paths in Salesforce. And with this, we have come to the end of the session. And I hope it was helpful. Do leave your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Happy learning.